Hi, this is George Alger with another segment of Our Ventura TV. And today I'm speaking with Elizabeth Rodino, who is the project coordinator at CAPS TV. And we're going to be talking about community outreach. Welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you. Thanks. So let's get right down to CAPS first. What is CAPS? Okay. Uh, CAPS is an acronym for Community Access Partners of San Buenaventura. We're a public access organization. We run two television channels one that's a government and education channel and one that is a public access channel. And so as a membership organization, we invite members of the community to come in and we teach them how to produce their own shows, train them on use of the camera, editing, use our full production studio, and encourage them to make their own films, which we broadcast on Channel 6. Good. In fact, this particular show is being recorded right now at CAPS TV and will be aired on Channel 6 That's in Ventura. Right. Good. So let's talk about some of the community outreach programs. I know there's a great youth program that you have going on here. What can you say about that? Well, we've been running a, a program for youth for about seven years. Um, it's called CAPS Digital Storytelling. We go out into the community and work with um, 10 to 16 year olds and teach them how to make their own films. So we start with um, essential story structure and we build upon that, train them on the equipment, and they go out and they produce their own film. And uh, generally the course runs about, um, usually after school for about seven weeks. And um, through that very short period, they you know, get a crash course on how to do this. And so it's a great opportunity for youth in the schools and the community to, to get exposed to this. This has got to be one of the most exciting programs for a kid, at least I would have been had mm -hmm. I been a kid. I imagine you get a lot of enthusiasm. Yes, absolutely. And kids who return. Our summer program, we have kids who've been coming to the program for five years. They're going out and making their own films and submitting them to film festivals. And of course, we air them on Channel 6. Good. So. Now that can encompass a broad variety of technology when you say you're teaching film. Can you touch on some of the specific things that kids are able to work with here? Like I know, for instance, green screens. Not every place has that. And, right. Um, yeah. I mean, first off, we use professional cameras, uh, high, high definition cameras, and we teach them all about that. Um, we actually have them manually operate the cameras, which is really interesting. So they really need to learn about, about focus and depth of field. Um, and then we teach them lighting, um, extensive use of lighting both in the studio and outdoors. And then we introduce them to editing and um, you know, digital editing on a laptop where they get to learn how to edit, build special effects, um, create sound, you know, and um, titles. And also we offer, you know, they get to play with a green screen, get to build uh, build stills to put behind the green screen. We had, you know, some fun kids running in a race, traveling across Europe, you know, with Europe running in the background and them jogging. It was really cute. So they really loved that. Good. So. Now, a number of viewers will be seeing this online. So mm -hmm. maybe you could mention what time of year you offer these youth programs. Okay. We do offer some throughout the school year. Um, and then during the summer, near the end of summer, July and August, we run um, currently a three-week program, so individual weeks. Our first week is studio week where they learn to make news broadcasts, talk shows, stuff like that. And then the second week is uh, documentary week. And we, this year we sent them out to produce documentaries um, in conjunction with Ventura Water, which they'll be submitting to the Water Take One Film Festival. And then the third week is dramatic week. And they get to really develop their own stories and create you know, their own shows, so it's quite fun. And at the end of a week, they produce a three to five minute piece. Nice. So, yeah. Great experience. Yeah, I wish I had that when I was young. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay, now let's move on to the library. I know that okay. CAPS has activities that are being um, conducted with the library. Mm -hmm. right. right now we're working with Ventura County Library to develop um, makerspace. Um, the maker movement is kind of exploded around the country. And a maker space is a space where people can get together and um, build things. So we have craft people, we have computer designers who build programs and teach kids how to use 
a variety of programs for gaming and um, and then their their manufacturers people who use you know woodworkers and the new the new important thing is the development of 3d printing and laser cutting and so these these creators are coming in and building software programs and and then executing these amazing pieces on a 3d printer so we're trying to get them together um, and collaborate in a space a unique space and and part of it is that we're motivated because we feel like we're story makers mm. and so we want to inject that into a maker space and so we want to help provide them with opportunity to, to share their works and then teach them how to make videos so it's a great opportunity it's just starting um, and we're looking forward to you know working in conjunction with a lot of great artists and uh, with a library Good, and there's a lot of libraries in Ventura, but or in Ventura County in particular, but um, is this primarily through the main library on Main Street? Yes, we're focusing on E.P. Foster, and they're very um, interested in, in contributing, and they have a large space that we have been using, and we'll introduce at what's called a pop-up maker space once a month, where the group will get together and bring their wares and show everybody what they do. Good, and this... Um, does this encompass all ages? All ages, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and I, of course, am particularly focused on the youth and, and developing the youth, but there are a lot of makers out there who are creating and training kids how to build, you know, things on using software, build games and, and projects. So that's, I think, really exciting. And, and I think getting them to learn, go back to doing hands-on work, they're really creating with their hands, I think, is a, is a great opportunity. And with robotics and, you know, all of those kind of interesting uh, elements that are becoming important in the schools, I think that it's a great opportunity for them. Great. Okay. So now let's go on to elections, because that is something that the uh, CAPS is very involved with when we get to those, those periods in the election cycle. Tell us about right. that evolution. We have been producing a program called Video Voter for many years now, where um, we allow the candidates to come in and share their platform um, with the community. And then we also um, interview them and ask questions. We have some, uh, some established people in the community who come in and ask you know, important questions so that the viewers um, learn about the candidates and who they are. And so that's, we do, we do that in the fall, obviously. And um, I think it's really important and we share it with the community and that way they learn, learn more about our candidates. Good, so. now, of course your shows are broadcast on um, Channel 6 in Ventura, as you mm -hmm. mentioned. Right. But you also have an online presence as well. Correct, yeah. yeah. And um, you wanna tell viewers how they can see that? Sure, you can go to capstv.org and um, all of our, our programs are posted there with links to Vimeo. So they can go on and uh, peruse our Vimeo channel and see all of the productions that CAPS does, all the community events we cover, um, and as well as all our youth programs. So I think we have all, pretty much all the videos, for at least five years worth of kids' videos in there, and so it's great to see their progress. And, um, you know, it's fun stuff. Good, now let's talk a little bit about the um, you know the facility as it's available you know what what people in the community can um, you know how they sh how they should avail themselves of the services here all right yeah. so of course we covered youth we covered the library and we touched on the elections all right mm -hmm. but there's you know plenty of folks in Ventura City that mm -hmm. could come in here to make their own shows tell them about how that process works all right um, well we encourage um, members of the community and community organizations to come in and learn how to cover their own events, produce their own programs. So what we do is we invite them in to learn about the station, um, tour the studios, take a look at the cameras, look at the editing, editing systems and our editing bays, and then they come back for training classes, which are all included in $25 annual membership. And we uh, coach them as to uh, how to produce their their shows and they get to come and check out kind of like a library check out the gear and take it out in the community and and you know share their stories with us and with uh, Ventura yeah. 
And also, right. just to um, kind of highlight that, not only is that just an amazing service for the community, it's not something that's available all over the place. It used to be more broadly available, but they've been going away in years. So um, I think it's worth highlighting that this is a great opportunity for folks in Ventura to, you know, to come in and learn about the equipment and to use the equipment and you know, to tell their own stories, but that this isn't something that is widely available around the world. No. So it is really a special opportunity here. Yes. And there's, um, there's some qualifications for who can use the facilities. Do you right. want to uh, right. mention that? Uh, residents of Ventura, students of the city of Ventura, as well as uh, people who work here. So employees of the city and business owners can come in and join and uh, use, use our, our facilities. All we ask is that they, they produce a product that a non-commercial product that we can air on Channel 6 because we're here to help the community as well as to provide programming and so it's the members who are the lifeblood of CAPS. Good and then is there also an opportunity for nonprofits who are anywhere in Ventura County to use yes. this space? Yes and okay. we encourage nonprofits from hospitals and um, youth foundations um, environmental groups, you know, a lot of different arts groups, a lot of different organizations can come and use the facilities. It's an awesome deal. All yes. right, well, cool. So we're winding down the program here. So why don't you give us the website for CAPS, sure. and then um, if you have a summating message that you'd like to convey to the viewers before we sign off. Okay, great. Well, our website is www.capstv.org. Um, and we, you know, gives us all the information about the station, what we do, how we do it, as well as a glimpse at a lot of our programming. Um, and, I, and I think from my years of experience in commercial filmmaking and broadcasting, that this is a wonderful opportunity for community members to get that experience um, and really learn and express themselves. And it's great to see these people come in who are from all walks of life come in and really learn, sit down and learn this stuff and produce great shows. So um, I'm really happy to be here. And truly, as um, one of our council members said, we are one of the gems of Ventura. I concur. So. All right, Elizabeth, thank you very much. Thanks. This is George Alger signing off for this segment of Our Ventura TV. Until we see you again.